Well, today's venue has a full name that is perhaps lesser known than its informal one. So today we're in Imola, or to give it its official title, the Autodromo Internazionale Enzo e Dino Ferrari, named after their legacy. A beautiful tribute and a beautiful circuit. It's time, everyone, for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 3.1 miles of track at Imola featuring 19 turns, 9 to the right and 10 to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula 1 tracks as it's taken anti-clockwise. Let's hope nobody forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight on the circuit and its only DRS zone. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Sainz, Leclerc, Perez, Russell, Fernando Alonso, Hamilton, Oscar Piastri, Gasly, Albon, Stroll, Ocon, Bottas, Joe, Magnussen, Ricardo, Holkenberg, Sonoda and Logan Sargent. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Anthony Davidson is with me once again to take you through today's action. And we have plenty of twists and turns to come over the next hour or so, I'm sure. Now, I want to ask you about Lando Norris. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? One more thing to consider is the strategy element. How far can the drivers push these tyres and who's going to blink first for fresh rubber? It'll be interesting to see if the leaders have to compromise their plan to cover off the cars behind them. Here we go then, the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out. As the cars come back towards the grid to line up for the start of the race, each driver will be wanting to get the best start they possibly can. And they'll be hoping to finish today's race on the podium, failing that within the points. <laughs> It slides down and away we go, and it's a fairly even start.
No power, no power. You need to rave up, revs up. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's too quick for me. I'm losing a lot of power. Yeah, we're looking into it. It's all looking good. It's I'm cleared. losing power, man. I'm losing power. How can you say it's good? Great ride, Max. Well done. Yeah, that was an amazing race, guys. Car was on fire. Really, really good. And uh, great pit stops, too. So, uh, very good. Get up at night. P2. What well up? Awesome. Just, uh, yeah. Cheers, everyone. Good weekend. Good points. Awesome job. Thank you very much. Let's keep pushing. They take the checkered flag then here in Imola in what has been another outstanding Grand Prix. Tell me, Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team.